Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of Uniball Sandman. So I'll let them know that they're gonna be on YouTube. And we're even gonna rotate the map to accommodate the Uniball community play up and down. I like to play left and right. Um so I guess I can do a little bit of a light commentation here. Commentation? Commentary. Yes. We might. We could go restart the video just because this is exactly what we want. Anyway, Gamer has the ball. They're down by two. Um, they're going to have to make up some ground. Torque's been playing a lot today. He's five and one. Poison X has been playing a lot today. Also been playing very well. Um, Brian has joined the game recently. He's one of the top UK players. Four, um, three, two, one. So I would say that red is heavily favored, so if blue can kind of get any sort of ground up here, just the fact that they're close right now is kind of exciting. Which is why I wanted to bring you this Let's Play Uniball observation commentary uh, game yesterday. So you can see the teams here matched up, and blue has to make up some ground right now. So Gamer has a ball, but he's a little bit of a mess up there. Red is eager to jump on it, take advantage, and they're passing around the ball right now. The idea really is to not lose the ball. If you can maintain the ball, there's no shot clock in Uniball. If you can maintain the ball, maintain that possession, make some plays, maybe some Ryan trying to draw out Torque right there. Get him away from the goal, make some space. But Torque sits in the goal, makes a nice defensive play. Blue another chance. Kind of a weak offensive opportunity by Red, but Torque gives it away. Right Four, from the net. three, seven, five. two, one. So, yeah. And it looks like Torque the ball again. Gets it passes to Torque. He might have a shot or a play. No, but it's a 2v2 and what a shot. Three, six, seven. Two, one. Kudos. Nice. Kudos are um, basically the term um, for when you want to get a combination. Accolades. Accolades? You'll soon learn my vocabulary is very weak. Anyway, back to the game. He's trying to make a stance, but Gamer comes in and makes an excellent defensive play. Kind of defensive play. Really kind of sets the pace of the game and sets it up. He has Torquem on the side, besides he would have poisoned down the side. He's got defense, so. Oh, but he breaks past him, makes an excellent ball and shot. What a goal. Just three, through those three two, one. <laughs> So we can have this opportunity to talk with the players. Fucking pop-ups. So it looks like that was the reason for the sec who could time out on the field. Now it looks like we're gonna get back into the action. It's always good to have a little timeout, especially in a 7-7. Seven, seven. Kinda sets the tone. Uh, he muted me, but that is a okay because I do not want to be a distraction to him. This is an important thing. Anyway, off we go. So passing to the side of the torque. And he makes a nice pass into poison, but he can't quite get it. I don't think he had any boost. If he had some boost, he would have been able to pick it up. You notice on the right here, you have so much boost. And, you know, as you can't see their boost as an observer. Just know that they only have so much. So it's always good to conserve. But anyway, Brian is making the play 7 7. They know they got to make a play. Carl are keeping the ball. Making a nice Four, pass. Three. Off two. Yep, yep, one. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Oh. Four. Got to defend. Three. Off the face -off. Two. One. So Prowler makes a nice pass to the side. Prodigy is going to have a play here, it looks like. He does. He passes. Not yet. He passes it into Brian, but a little delayed. Torque uh, anticipated it nicely. Blue's going to have another chance here, but he loses it, but he gets it back. Don't worry. Poison got it back. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. So Poison does a nice safe pass off to the side. Work a play here. Work it up 
the side, but Prodigy comes in, makes a defensive stop, and that's going to be it. Four, three. GG, GG.